Hey everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Here we have a Maritron AL811. It's all done. Just been so busy here, haven't been able to keep up on before and afters and all that, so... I'm going to show you everything I did. So, uh, someone went in here and did a bunch of stuff, so I had to clean up a bunch, a whole lot actually. A bad solder joint, one of these mica caps over here for the parasitic suppressor board. The ceramic disc cap was damaged over here. The meter protection diode was shorted. Had the old pink resistors, so I put in the newer black ones. You know, I know people sell upgraded boards for some of these that add a couple more caps. The only time I've ever had to change a capacitor ever in any of the Maritron amps is when one of the resistors opens. And the only time a resistor has opened is when it's when the amplifier had the pink resistors. So you know, this is the shorter ones. So I changed the black the pink resistors, the black ones, now it's good. I had to change one of the mica caps for the 15 meter input. It was damaged. It looked like it had been hit with a soldering iron. Boy, that was a pain. Taking this out was easy, but getting at it with my soldering iron with the board in place, it took a little time. I had to fix a couple of the solder, actually a few of the, four of the solder joints over here. They were really bad. I guess the person tried to fold it back and he unsoldered the leads. I had to replace this lead over here going to the fuse holder. It had been burnt with a soldering iron and the wire was exposed underneath the chassis here so it could have shorted. I cleaned the rotary switches with deoxy gold and compressed the grid clips on all of the sockets. I changed the SO239 connectors. One wasn't making really any connection at all. The other one was one was loose on the PL259 pin. Got a brand new set of Penta Lab 572B tubes. Awesome company. Great product. Went ahead and tested it on all bands. So it was just a lot of tedious work here. Clean up a bunch of solder yet over here. So, that's about it. If you need an amplifier repaired, please feel free to give me a call. AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119.